What is up friends? My name is Cam Oliver and I'm the youth pastor here at Living Hope Church. I hope everyone has been able to stay safe and warm in their homes with this winter storm that's going on. It's kind of crazy. But today I come to you to talk about Lent. Lent is a 40 day, six week period leading up to Easter. It's a season of celebration, of anticipation of the death and resurrection of Jesus. Almost like how Advent is for Christmas. Lent is a part of this liturgical calendar, which is a church calendar a lot of Christians follow all over the world. This calendar is a way for us to honor and value the longevity of the historic tradition of our faith. This 40-day period is an opportunity for us to reflect on the wilderness we find ourselves in and consider how Jesus is always seeking to meet us in our most difficult spaces. We see throughout the Bible how the Lord uses a 40-day time period, or 40 years even, to grow his people. Jesus himself retreated into the wilderness where he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights and was tempted by the devil. The Hebrew people, God's chosen people in the Old Testament, wandered the desert for 40 years while traveling to the Promised Land. Jonah's prophecy of judgment given to the city of Nineveh gave them 40 days to repent or else they would be destroyed. Moses spent 40 days on Mount Sinai with God receiving the Ten Commandments. And God sent 40 days and nights of rain in the great flood with Noah. These 40 days of Lent are meant to be a time of repentance. The purpose of Lent is a humble understanding of recognizing our own brokenness as humans and our need for a savior. This time period of Lent allows us to reflect and open up our own hearts to Jesus. A big part of Lent is fasting. Fasting is a spiritual practice or discipline and the purpose is to remove distractions in our lives for us to hear the voice of Christ more clearly and obey it. Jesus himself fasted, we see that in the gospels. And fasting is a form of self-control, it's a form of worship, and it removes the distractions or even pleasures in our life, like food or media, and allows us to fully rely on God. Lent is a season of limiting something in your life so that we can encounter Jesus in a deeper way leading up to Easter. So here is my challenge for you with all of this in mind. Take intentional time leading up to Easter to repent from your sins. Set a specific time to pray each day by setting an alarm on your phone for a specific time, or begin to incorporate prayer before mealtimes. And lastly, choose something to fast from to develop your hunger for Christ. This can be a type of food, media, habit, or comfort you enjoy. Personally, I'm fasting from using heat on my hair, which may seem kind of funny, but I often hold too much value in my hair. And so this is something I want to give up during this season. I know other people who are fasting from social media, alcohol, makeup, and sugar. Really, it's up to you. Even though Lent started this past week on Ash Wednesday, it's not too late to prepare to celebrate the Lord's resurrection at Easter. What will you be fasting from this Lent season? See you guys.